but what we were doing there is just coming up with a, a way of solving uh, three unknowns and three equations. In what context could, context could that actually be used? What is the what's a story? What's a situation in which we might apply that particular skill? Well, here's one example. We'll come across others as the the course goes on. But this is one. Um, so we have here the a parabola has an equation of the form. Now this is a general equation. Uh, you'll notice that there are no numbers in the place of a, b, and c. We're used to a parabola looking like something like y equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. In other words, there are coefficients in particular places. Uh, and that's the specific equation for a parabola. The general one, just like y equals mx plus c, is the general equation of a straight line. This is the general equation of a parabola. So what it does tell us is that there is certain information we know about this parabola. There are points which lie on the line, and the points are given as the points 1, 0, 2, 7, and 3, 18. Now we know that for any of these equations of lines or parabolas, basically we're saying here's a rule that connects x and y, which means that in this case here, where we've got y equals something x squared or something x plus another number. For the point x equals 1 and y equals 0, what we can say is that at that point there y is 0 and x is 1. And so we end up with this equation here. 0 equals a plus b plus c, or, more usefully, a plus b plus c equals 0. And we have an equation with three unknowns in it. In order to solve that, we would need three equations. Now, where is that the other information coming from? We have two other coordinate points. When x is 2, y is 7, it says. Which means that I can substitute in and say 7 is a times x squared plus b times x, which in this case is 2, and plus c. And we end up, as you can see in the same way, with this time 4a plus 2b plus c equals 7, because 2 squared is 4. And our third point is point 318. And therefore, we get 18 equals a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c, giving us an equation. 3 squared is 9, so it's 9a plus 3b plus c equals 18. So here, we have 1, 2, 3 equations, 3 unknowns, and we have a 3x3 three three system of equations that we can solve. So that's the, the way in which we might derive three equations like that, by plugging uh, coordinate points uh, that lie on that particular parabolic curve. Now what we can do is solve these equations, and going right back to the beginning, we can, it says, by constructing a 3x3 three three system of equations, find the equation of the parabola. And the equation simply means we want to actually identify what the specific number values for a, b, and c actually are. Okay, so what we have to then do is take this information oops, and we want to construct well, get rid of that anyway. We want to take these that's not happening. Okay, I'll rewrite them anyway. So we've got x plus y plus z equals 0, oops, a plus b plus c equals 0, 4a plus 3b plus c equals 7, and 9a plus 3b plus 
plus c equals 18. So our augmented matrix will look like this. So I've got uh, 1, 1, 1, 0, 4, 5, 2, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1, 18. Okay, just checking back to our coefficients there, yep. And we solved that as we would have solved uh, the other uh, examples 2 and 3. So we're going to set up some elementary row operations, 1, 1, 1, and 0. Right, for the second row, we've got a 4, and so if we did something like uh, 4, row 1, subtract row 2, that's going to give me 4 ones of 4, subtract 4, 0, and for the other lines, 4 ones are 4, subtract 2 is 2, 4 ones are 4, subtract 1 is 3, and 4 zeros are 0, subtract 7 is negative 7. For the third line, we want to make we've got 1 and 9, so we're going to do 9 row 1, subtract row 3. So 9 ones are 9, subtract 9 is 0, and then we've got 9 subtract 3 is 6, we've got 9 subtract 1 is 8, and then we've got 0 subtract 18 is negative 18. And we've got one last 0 to find, and that's the in row 3. Okay, we want to find our 0 here. So really what we've got to do is to uh, say we could have divided that uh, last row by 2. But for the moment, we'll basically say 3 lots of row 2. Subtract row 3. Let's just check. That's going to give us 3 twos are 6. Subtract 6 is 0. And for the other ones, 3 threes are 9. Subtract 8 is 1. And then over on the constant side, negative 7 times 3 is negative 21, subtract negative 18, negative 21, subtract negative 18 is negative 21, add 18, which is negative 3. So I've got my upper triangular matrix, there we go, which means that I can take row by row, solve that for A, B and C. So from row 3, we can state that, remember that's A, B, and C coefficients. So we can say 1C equals negative 3. That's actually our answer. Uh, from row 2, we can say that 2B plus 3C equals negative 7. Substituting in the fact that C is negative 3. 2B minus 9 equals negative 7. So add 9 to both sides, or take the 9 over to the other side, 2b equals 2, b equals 1. And from row 3, or from row 1, sorry, back up at the top, 1 of each. a plus b plus c equals 0. Substituting in, we don't know what a is just yet. B is 1, C is negative 3, which means that A minus 2 equals 0, A is 2. So for the other ones, we don't really have a context, so we could just write the solution 2, 1, negative 3 as our answer. But in this case, we do actually have a, a purpose for it. A, B, and C represent the different coefficients of my equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So the equation of the parabola
is, or we can write it out, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which in this case is y equals a is 2, b is 1, and c is negative 3. There is the actual particular answer for this question. So that's a bit of context. There are a few questions you can try like that. One of the ways in which we can apply our systems of equations.